The NSA, that's our domestic spying agency, claims it only spies when it has a warrant. But a former NSA senior intelligence officer and current whistleblower is challenging that. With us now, the well-known whistleblower and my friend Bill Binney. Bill, uh, always a pleasure. Welcome here to Judge Napolitano filling in for Rick Kennedy. Is it true that the NSA has the capability and does, in fact, spy on everybody all the time, everywhere in the U.S.? Uh, yes, and they have about 100 tapping points inside the fiber optic network inside the 48 states of the United States, just that alone to make that possible. They also have a similar uh, array of uh, tapping devices around the world, and they've got cooperation with the uh, Five Eyes group, the U.K. and GCHQ, and uh, the Canada, Australia, New Zealand. And they do uh, virtually try to capture everything in the world. Isn't everything in the world such massive information overload that they will miss things as complex as San Bernardino and Orlando or as simple as this nut job driving his car into a crowd in Charlottesville this past weekend? Yes, in fact, they've been pretty consistent with doing exactly that. Uh, and that's what I've been objecting to. Uh, they should have focused on, they should have a focused uh, pro professional uh, job looking at known or uh, extensions from known terrorists or criminals. I mean, that would give them, they, all these people that have committed crimes uh, uh, and terrorist attacks, even before 9-11, would have been picked up by doing that. Now, the NSA claims that it follows the law. You know they make this claim. They claim they go to the FISA court. They, in fact, do go to the FISA court. They claim they get warrants from the FISA court. They do, in fact, get war warrants from the FISA court. Is this just a charade? The FISA court's involvement in NSA spying on Americans? Uh, yes, in fact, uh, it, the, real, the real spying is done under Executive Order 12333, Section 23C. <laughs> they use that to authorize this bulk acquisition of everybody. Uh, and it, none of that is coordinated with the FISA court. That's all done in secret. Even the intelligence uh, committees don't really know all of the extent of what's going on there. How can we stop this? Uh, well, I think uh, the easiest way to do it would be to cut their budget, because then they wouldn't be able to do all this spying. It takes a lot of money to do that, and, and they're, all, they're making themselves dysfunctional, so you know, we're really rewarding failure to continue giving them money. And do they think they're actually keeping us safe when, in fact, they have so much information they can't sift through it? That's the allegation. I think they know exactly that they can't because internally Snowden released some material and internally the analysts inside NSA have been uh, sending out articles in, internally in their network to other analysts saying, you know, we're overloaded, with, we're burdened with too, too much data. We can't figure anything out because we're overburdened with this overload. Got so, it. And they have uh, like at least 10 articles that were published saying that from, from uh, years ago. So they have known for a long time. In fact, that's why we did the program we did internally in NSA back in the 1990s, because even back then they were overloaded. 